This has been the Nissan pregame rush. And it takes us right to Pitt kicking away to North Carolina and Michael Carter on the return. And Michael Carter getting the edge, hurtling over the kicker. Just left over Alex Kessman who delivered the kickoff. He takes it for 40 yards. North Carolina feels great about this young freshman quarterback. Originally committed to Florida State, but then he changed his mind when Mac Brown became the head coach. And he strikes to Daz Newsom. Is it a run or is it a pass? It's actually both. Here comes Michael Carter on the carry. It's stopped at the 43 yard line by Deslin Alexander. Pitt is top three in the country in sacks this year. Powell gets rid of it to Brown quickly. The line to game was the 37, and he got smacked by Dane Jackson, a yard shy. Fourth down in Hinesfield. They'll keep it on the ground with Antonio Williams, and the Pitt defense stands strong. Watson Alexander in the thick of it, up front for Pitt. The strength of their team, this time it was Watson Alexander, but it's usually Twyman and Jones with them. That front seven, they've taken a page out of the great coordinator Batesy and Narduzzi said it's a team defense concept. You saw it there. Disruption, big time stop. Now we got the ball in Pickett's hands. And he fires a strike to start his night to Shockey Jacques Louis. Wayne's been getting a, a couple balls here early for a freshman. It's nice to see him get hot. We'll hand it off to A.J. Davis, needing just a yard. And the North Carolina defense comes up with a third and short stop. They go with the I formation this time. Let's see if they moved in enough with Pickett. Looked like he was right at the 41. <laughs> Pickett again to throw. He's a good runner. And there he goes, Kenny Pickett. Once or twice a game, he picks up a dozen. Well, he stares, stares down his entire progression. He goes one, two, three, four. The old Wildcat here for the Panthers. Get it? Because it's a cat. <laughs> Pick it into traffic, and it's dropped. For Alex Kessman, by the way, turning around here as of late. 41 yards in Heinz Field is no joke, though. Kicking away from the rivers. Formations, which side the back is on, stuff like that. Powell wanted to take a deep shot. He'll throw to Bo Corrales for a first down, though, on the near side. And it took a couple of Pitt Panthers to bring Corrales down. Got to do it in short yardage situations. That's what ended their first drive. Here they are in the third and one. And they do pick it up with Javante Williams, still on his feet, down near the 21-yard line. If they work, you're not sure if they're actually going to work until you call them, and then you see your guys firing off the ball. Gives you confidence to take some shots. They do here. Looking for Corrales. Mm. What a play by Corrales against Jason Pinnock. He wins the battle for a touchdown with a flag thrown. Mentioned the play action will come after you start running the ball well. He actually goes left and then all the way right, Pat. Gives him a ball. Mm. I think this is a You Got Moss nominee. Or in the tattoo chair. <laughs> Pick it. Launches, he's got a man, Taysir Mack. His big play threat from a season ago for 48. Well, we talked about Taysir Mack needs to step up with Maurice French half. This is called stepping up. It's like, listen, I want to give the play in a little coaching nugget, just like they do in the NFL. On third down, a first down strike inside the 15, and right on cue, it's Taysir Mack. 8% touchdown rate in the red zone for Pitt. Trying to cash in on third down. Kenny Pickett wrapped up and brought down by maybe the best defensive player for North Carolina, Jason Strobridge. Motion Bartzell into the slot. Pickett, Mack, back shoulder, incomplete. And now a long field in front of Sam Howell, who's seven for seven to start his night, and he finds Daz Newsom out on the perimeter, and he uses his speed for a first down. And Fulia, he takes those deep shots as well, uh, Adam. One of the better deep ball throwers in the country this year. They try to swing it out to Michael Carter, and that's a great open field tackle. Blitz coming from Pitt. How 
ball hit as he throws, completes it to the tight end Carl Tucker, but he is hit shy. The guy looked very sad. I believe that man might have smoked four or five cigarettes before hopping <laughs> in that bubble hit. <laughs> That's like Jim Leland or something. First down hit, Philippe Carter got hammered. Brian Hess, I wouldn't want to mess with the strength and conditioning coach for North Carolina either. He loved it. <laughs> yeah, he, put, he helped break it up, and that got really into it. A.J. Davis, they like to use him in the screen game, and that's a big gainer all the way down to the North Carolina 30. Our catch and run for A.J. Davis from Lakeland, Florida. Offensive coordinator Mark Whipple told us he was going to get the screen game involved yesterday when we met with him. Perfect timing for this. The big guys get in front and clear the way. Really good at football. <laughs> Saturday Night Football on ESPN. LSU number one in the college football playoff rankings against Ole Miss. Pick it to the end zone. Deflected and caught. Shocky shot, Louis. Touchdown. With the penalty marker thrown. Shocky. By the redshirt freshman, Hollins. We mentioned someone had to step up with French out. This is a heck of a catch. It's a good throw. It's a catch for a touchdown. The previous play is under further review. They're going to review this one, but guys, I got to believe that this is a touchdown. You got to be careful, though. They're being loud while their team's on offense. Pick it. Keeping it. Cutting it. Scoring it. Touchdown, Panthers. And they jump back out in front. A little billionaire strut there, too, by picking at the end. I can respect everything about that. Game, it was taken off the board. The pass interference kept the drive alive. And Kenny Pickett cuts it. Not excited about the overturn, but Pickett picked it up. And Pat Narduzzi didn't let the officials <laughs> have a break. He was in their ear the entire time. Redshirt sophomore from Steel Valley High School in Pittsburgh. I really like him as a safety. The blitz gets to Howell. And it's Phil Campbell. The Pitt Panthers this year, top three in all of college football. Well, he's the outside backer. He's in a stacked position, and then he moves last second, comes on the outside, potentially the best in the game right now. So third down at 21. They set up the screen pass. Carter still got a long way to go, and he's going to end up short. And they're back to wearing the, that color uniform. Awesome. That color scheme. Awesome. I would like to see the mess jerseys make a comeback. Fair point. Did you have to rock the mess jersey? Uh, no. Over the course of your entire ESPN career these first few months? No respect. No respect. Hey, no respect. No. How about a shot here for Shockey? He's got it! Inside the 30! There goes Shockey! Jacques-Louis! To back impressive drives. You saw Maurice French grabbing Shockey Jacques Louis' head. I knew you were going to step up for me tonight. Shockey to the house for a 10 point lead. If him get open, you're going to look deep at that post and read those safeties. And if they're flat footed, you take that shot. Well done by Pickett. Antonio Williams breaks free, being chased. And he'll get brought down inside the pit 20 yard line by Jason Pinnock. By Antonio Williams, the longest of his career at 59. Really good physical run inside. He was thought he might take it to the house. Pinnock with a great hustle play to save the touchdown. Big Third down and two. Big shift in emotion here for North Carolina. How? Under pressure, launches it dangerously up the sideline, and it is incomplete. Or well, Ruggles has been good inside of 40 this year. This from 25. Moat around the field so that the fans can't get at the soccer players. It's pretty fascinating. Teddy Pickett starts this drive from the 17-yard line, takes off running. Oh, no! And the flag does come flying in. For quarterback turn linebacker, he's second in the ACC in total tackles. He leads in tackles per game. Pickett, another shot for Taysir Mack. Deflected and incomplete. Miles Dorn had the initial coverage. DeAndre Hollins tried to race in. There is a flag thrown back at the 31. Get about it. Well, hand it off and a hold for Valik Carter. He's got the first down inside the 30. Uh, inside the hashes. There's already a divot on the 32 yard line on the far side of the field. Dump it off for Bartzell. And not much there. This guy. He hasn't had a lot of wear and tear on his body because he hasn't been playing linebacker until this year. Boy, Pickett's been running a lot tonight. He picks up the first down and slides inside the 15. He's opportunity and takes that thing. 
You can see why they trust him. He had the nice throwaway earlier on second on uh, second down. Picked up 14 yards. Now under pressure, and he gets wrapped up by Jason Strobridge. Him at that position, he's played it well. He has. He's had some pressure. Uh, he's lining up outside, like you said, Adam, at defensive end. He's got some nice moves out there. Stays with it, comes up with the sack. And this field is is pulling up. Yeah, there's a, there are divots being created. They go out wide. A.J. Davis, he gets wrapped up by Greg Ross immediately for a loss. Don't be surprised to see the double pass. 26-yard try for Kessman. North Carolina, after the missed field goal by Kessman, starts this drive from the 20 and nowhere to go. And it looked like he may have had possession, but referees ruled that he did not keep possession through the ground. Howell on the move, he connects. That's a first down across the 30 for Bo Corrales. Howell. Newsom breaks a tackle. He's inside the 50 and finally chopped down in pit territory as we check in with Matt Berry. Say not a lot of people expected them to win the first two games out of the game. I don't know if a lot of people expected four and five. They won two games in Larry Fedora's final year. Sam Howell still on his feet and finally brought down. Panthers pin their ears back. Howell over the middle, diving catch. It is complete with a flat thrown. Howell lofts it up there and it's picked off. Intercepted by Damari Mathis. A flag is thrown at the six yard line. Mathis running in for the pick. They picked up the flag and it is the second pick for Mathis this year. Had one against Miami. It's really a mistake by Sam. He had a perfect half going. Throws the interception there. Can't happen. Pick it. Connects. He's got a man. And right away, Nickett has had a heck of an evening here in Heinz Field. Drops back, first play of the second half, gets comfortable, composed, and then drops one in a bucket for a big first down. Oaken Mandible against Georgia Tech 12 days ago, hoping to have him back late in the year. We'll run it with A.J. Davis here. Trying to stretch it to the left, and it's going to be ruled down at the 39-yard line. What do we say? About 90 minutes before kickoff, these two teams were getting after it. The physicality continues. Third down and four. Quick pop and deflected incomplete. He has great control on these sky punts, is what Coach Narduzzi calls it. But this is an area of strength. Perfect. Pitch and catch with the golf swing afterward. Perfectly executed by that Pitt football team. What, what, what do you think about Pitt? You know anything about Pitt? Uh, you know, they're coming off a big win last week, so a little momentum, a little better coaching. They can take the year, they can take the division. It's a big Thursday in Pittsburgh football. On third and four. Trying to lunge ahead, Garrett Walston. And it's close to the sticks. The line to game was the 28. They gave it to him. And he's done it with big plays as well. These aren't dink and dunk touchdowns. He's chucking them down the field. It's been a hallmark of this offense this year. Antonio Williams powers ahead, and he's got the first down. Key roll as a safety with DeMar Hamlin out for targeting. He got upended at the end, but he's a bruiser. He's a this is what he's been so good at, is keeping his cool, even when he makes a mistake all season. Rontavious Groves hit in open space by Dane Jackson. Get a wrap that they're not great tacklers. This is an excellent tackle. It's at a different octave. Panthers blitz against the run. Williams cannot get away from that first line of defense. Excellent job by Cam Bright. Started three times this year. Had a 79-yard fumble recovery against Georgia Tech in the last game. Then Kiernan boots it away. Barzell getting an opportunity with Maurice French out. He'll take it to the 15 and give Pitt a little bit more cushion. Who's now an assistant at Georgia. A little jet sweep here. And a first down for Shockey Chuck Louis. And it was the shift in the motion before this play. This is a very simple set. He asked Dennis, the head of officiating, he said, what, are they just coaching him better? Is that what's happening? It's been a long time. Picked up a big one there after a big play by A.J. Davis. Pickett, rifles, first down inside of North Carolina 
territory. Griffin Stewart, 28 this is, yards. This is an excellent throw. This play is known as a form of all-go special. Morris in their best cover corner played against Virginia with a broken arm, and he's now done. Reed resets him after the missed throw the play before. To throw on third down, underneath, he's got Jared Wayne, and another first down. Pitt able to convert into the red zone. We'll hand it off to Davis, big hole! A.J. Davis! Touchdown Panthers! Looked like he broke the play pretty clearly. Has more touchdown passes of 20 plus yards this year than any other quarterback in the country, including Joe Burrow. Sam's got 13, Burrow's got 12. He finds a man in Rontavius Groves over the middle, and that second effort by Groves gets them to the line to gain. Finding a hole, Antonio Williams. He's bursted for some big runs tonight. He picks up 11. You get not just football, you get all those sports. The Olympic sports. Killer Basketball. field hockey tournament last week. <laughs> I know you're paying attention to field hockey. Your daughter's a great player. What a leaping attempt by Bo Corrales. Inside the 35, we'll check the flags. And a credit to North Carolina with a freshman quarterback taking advantage of these free plays. You see a lot of people just letting this go, taking the five yards. They're taking the 50 ball, throw it up to the six foot four. Bo Corrales has made plays already tonight. There's another one. How wanted to take a shot, got grabbed once, got grabbed twice, and got wrapped up by Deslin Alexander for a loss. That may take us to the end of quarter number three. Third and long is not ideal. Let's see what he's got. Nothing downfield. Still looking. Across his body, incomplete. A flag is thrown. Said it, Pat. Phil Longo's going to ride the hot hand. How? To the sideline and a backpedaling catch by Newsom. Try to watch that documentary on him and tell me you don't get emotional watching it. I don't get emotional watching it. Sam Howell right out of the gate. Fires to the end zone and has Deami Brown. North Carolina gets a key score. And they're back within a touchdown. Big score for North Carolina. Both of these teams have played a ton of one possession games. You've got another one in the fourth tonight. Positive. Fourth and 20. Who, who is the delay of game on? Is that on the punter, the personal protector? Who is that on? Uh, punter's not giving the cadence. The personal protector is. He hits a good one here, though. Yeah, first one since high school. Late fair catch signaled. <laughs> so Sam Howell takes over. Delivers a strike. That's good for a first down. Took an hour and 15 to get back there. And there you were. Sam Howell, another deep shot. He's got his man! It is caught by Newsom! Touchdown, North Carolina! Another 20-plus yard strike from Sam Howell to one of his targets. Legend of Sam Howell continues. We mentioned that inside fade. This is a little RPO action with an inside fade from the slot. We're down in four. Pressure on Pickett. Escapes the pocket again and delivers past the 35-yard line to Will Gregg for the first down. I try to back up that ludicrous reference for you, Pat, my apologies. Mm -hmm. Stand up. Wide open Gregg, another first down to the 49. Things break down, you look for that tight end, Gregg stepping up. Pickett on the cross. Short game, but a penalty marker is thrown. Now he said, we're going to challenge them. We're going to put more on their plate. I'm not concerned about their free time. Blitz for the Tar Heels. Pick it off the back foot. He's got his man. Malik Carter with a first down inside the 15. Sort of reflect that. Reflect that. Pick it over the middle. Mack made the catch shy of the sticks, and Miles Dorn came in like a rocket. He's made 11 of his last 13 after a very cold start. For the lead, it is good. Howell over the middle, it's deflected and picked by Ford, but flags came flying in. You would think with Jazzy Stocker coming in on defense that it might be a pass interference call. 
from the 40. Howe wrapped up and brought down by Jalen Twyman of the year. Jalen Twyman has been a guy that the coaching staff says has took the rest of the defense. Second and long. Pitch showing pressure. They're bringing it. Howe steps up and delivers to Newsom for a first down. Inside the pit 40-yard line, Sam Howell delivers on target. Well, Kenny Pickett didn't throw an incompletion, and Sam Howell says, I got your back. He hasn't thrown. That's his seventh straight completion. He's a tall corner, but losing Dane Jackson to that injury, he is their best cover guy. There's Carter on the screen. Flag is thrown. As he works down to the 35-yard line, but we'll check the marker here. It happened. <laughs> they erupted as if they made a field goal or something. This is just a little wide receiver kind of bubble screen. Powell hmm. throws towards the sticks and is caught. It's a first down. Well, you guys have said it a couple times. Like, ice water in the veins doesn't even realize it's the fourth. Hasn't flinched. Delivers to the far sideline this time to Bo Corrales. Remember, Pat Narduzzi used a couple timeouts. He only has one left. Powell hands it off right up the gut. And Antonio Williams, who's had a fantastic night tonight with over 100 yards. Williams spins away, still on his feet. Good rally to the football by that pit defense. Camp right. Clock continues to move down to 25 seconds. Howe for the lead in the end zone, and it's incomplete. To the end zone, and it's broken up. Jason Pinnock had the coverage on Corrales again. Noah Ruggles, calm and cool. Shockey Jacques Louis has been productive the last couple of games. He's back to return. Can he deliver a big one? Picks it up after the drop. And he'll get shut down just across the 20-yard line. Kenny Pickett's going to line up wide. They're going to go Wildcat to start overtime with A.J. Davis. And he's got nothing. Maybe a yard on the plate. Looking to score a touchdown here, but you got to be careful. Third and 14. Pickett finds a man, and that's good enough for a first down for Taysir Mack. Tamon Fox is coming to... Knock him out. Pickett delivers okay. once again. Matt tripped up. I oh, beg your pardon, Shockey Jacques Louis tripped up. Red zone. A little shoestring tackle there for Jacques Louis. Almost got out. There's A.J. Davis. And a power ahead. That is good enough for a first down. First down and goal for Pitt. Pickett keeps it. Running in for the touchdown. His second of the night. None of it would have been possible without the throw to Tasir Mack, but that was Kenny Pickett as well. Off the fake. Howe wants it all on play number one, and it's incomplete. Going up against the freshman QB. Howe hit as he throws, and it drops incomplete. Four-man rush. Howe sidesteps. He's got to take off and run. He'll pick up decent yardage on third down. It's fourth down and four here. How? Into space for Newsom. He's got to get the 15, and he does. First down, North Carolina. They convert on fourth down. All at the 11-yard line, first down and 10. Here's Williams. Right at the line of scrimmage, nothing there. How looking to the end zone and incomplete. How pumps. How gets wrapped up with a sack. Guess who? Big 97. Where Aaron Donald's number, Jalen Twyman. Dominant force. Most sacks in the country. And whenever you need them, big 
big-time players make big-time plays in big-time situations. Jalen Twyman beats his guy, wraps up Sam Howell so he doesn't get any big time. Sam Howell, can he do it again in the fourth quarter? To the end zone, incomplete, and Pitt survives in overtime. Their coastal 